here. Today I am going to talk to you about punch needle fabrics as well as punch needle yarn and a little bit about punch needle glue. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing let's talk about is punch needle fabric. There are different thoughts on what is a good punch needle fabric. The best in my opinion is monk's cloth. I really enjoy this fabric. I find it very forgiving, especially when you're actually punching into it and you create all of those holes. Let me show you here. So you've got some holes and you can easily just scratch those away if you pull your yarn out of your fabric and you'll be able to start your project again. So I love monk's cloth. Although some people find monk's cloth to be a little bit too stretchy, I don't find that to be a problem, especially if you tighten it properly. This particular monk's cloth is a high quality monk's cloth. You need to look for a monk's cloth that has between 12 to 14 holes per inch. If your monk's cloth has less holes than that, the holes will be too large and then they will not hold that yarn in place the way that you need it to do. That's my favorite fabric. There's also primitive linen that you can buy as a really nice backing. I do have some here. I haven't cut it because I do have plans to use this fabric in a larger form, but I just put it in this ring here so that you can see. The nice thing about this fabric is you can do things like trace designs and you don't actually have to fill out the entire fabric like monk's cloth. This monk's cloth, and there's some monk's cloth out there that you can get without lines, but I have yet to find it. This monk's cloth has lines which helps you follow along on your project. However, when you're not doing a project where you're filling the entire thing, then you do want something a little bit nicer to look at. So the primitive linen is a nice backing for your projects. I have a download, this one here, this is a nice template that you can download on my blog for free if you want it. It's a nice one because you can actually just trace. And so if you're going to do something like this, then I would suggest a primitive linen. That way you have a really nice backing to your project. Now, some people will use burlap for their projects. I don't recommend burlap. Burlap is brittle, it will fall apart and it is not self-healing. This linen is also self-healing. So if you're pushing your project through, actually that's a thinner needle, let me use my thicker needle. If you're pushing your project on through and you're creating these larger holes, it doesn't look as nice as the monk's cloth holes because the monk's cloth has a little bit more give to it, but you can still scratch this away if you're careful. and then it's healed right up. So if you make any mistakes, you're still able to pull your yarn out and have a nice project with no extra holes throughout your fabric. So that's all I really have to say about fabric. Moving on to the yarn, you can use really whatever yarn you want. Chunkier yarns are the best for the bigger fat needles. Uh, if you have some thin yarns, but you don't have a thinner needle, then what you can do is you can use more than one yarn together for a project. Here I've got two thin yarns. So you can put them together and pull them through your needle and then you've created yourself a chunkier yarn. So that's a way that you can get around not having that chunky yarn. If you're actually going to do a rug, a punch needle rug, then I recommend you get picky on your yarns and you buy 100% wool yarn. If you're just using the yarn for fun projects like on the wall, beautiful wall hangings, things like this, I'm gonna turn this one into a wall hanging for in a nursery room. So you, then you can use whatever yarns you wish because it's not getting stepped on or thrown through the wash. For pillows, I would recommend a bit of a more rugged yarn. You don't have to have anything too specific, just nothing too fancy and delicate for the pillows, but otherwise you're good to experiment and have fun with that yarn. 
I have experimented a little too far and I have this yarn here. This yarn is a really pretty yarn, but because it's got those loops, it just doesn't feed through the needle very well and then through the fabric. So I don't recommend a fancy yarn like that. However, there are some really nice yarns like this one here I'm using right now, and it has some metallic in it. It's not a full on metallic yarn, which also could cause you problems, but because it's almost with a carrier yarn, so it pulls through really nicely and gives you a really nice look. This is my pillow project here. And as you can see, there's some metallic in there, but it's not just a metallic yarn. But the yarn themselves, if it's just for a wall hanging or for a pillow, it can be anything that you find really pretty and nice for your project. When you're doing those rugs though, make sure that 100% wool yarn is being purchased. I will put some links down below to different products that I think are best for you for these different punch needle projects. And finally, let's talk about punch needle glue. Punch needle glue isn't needed for most projects. If you're doing your punch needle project properly and those loops are every three holes, your yarn itself is going to hold itself together because as you're doing your punch needle, you are punch needling and those loops are actually ending up starting to knot in and amongst each other, which is perfectly fine because that will help hold it in place. Another thing that's happening is they're condensing with each other, right? So those loops will eventually just hold each other in and you don't have to worry about it. So glue really is not necessary for any of these punch needle projects. I did use Elmer's glue to save a project once. So I've got this project here. I used Elmer's glue because this project I did not hem around the edge of my monk's cloth. My monk's cloth frayed while I was doing this project. And because of that, the only way I could do it was I folded over all of the edges. I used Elmer's glue and I just glued all the way along and then I put a piece of felting on the back but that was to save a project not really to finish a project. I also have this glue here it's a Fabri-Tac glue and it dries super fast. I don't recommend using it on the backs of your projects but if you want to use it to finish a project instead of hand hemming a project you could definitely use this for that. And other than that, that is all the items I really have to show you as far as what you can use for your punch needle projects. I did mention in my previous punch needle tutorial that these hoops are by far the best hoops to use with your punch needle projects. These hoops are a Morgan no slip hoop and they will hold your fabric into place nice and tight so that you get that tight as a drum feel and then your needle will be able to do all of its loops evenly. So it's very important to have a good hoop. Or if you don't want a hoop and you just wanna make your own frame, you could get those artist frames from the craft store, put those together, and then just stretch your fabric over them and use a staple gun and staple that fabric in place. Just make sure that that fabric is nice and tight. That way your project will be easy to do. The looser the fabric, the more frustrating the project will be. And that, my friends, is all I have to share with you today about punch needle. I will have tutorials in the future about how to make this adorable punch needle pillow, as well as other crafts like punch needle purses and things. That will be coming down the pipes soon enough. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss those tutorials in the future. And hit that thumbs up button if you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave me a comment down below if there is anything that you would like me to talk about more in depth, any tutorials you're interested in seeing, and I will definitely try and get those out to you. I hope that you have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.